And we're back to audition. Let me finally show you the entire process of how I improve my audio. This is obviously just my way to do it. Other people do it differently, but I think that my audio sounds good, definitely good enough for YouTube. At first, here is the audio that we are going to work with. This is just the raw stuff, the raw recording. I'll play it. This is a test audio to show how we can improve the audio quality in Adobe Audition. If you don't use these options, you're going to have a hard time to get good audio quality even out of the most expensive and best microphones. And you can hear a couple of things. Number one is it's way too soft. It's not loud enough. There are a couple of clicks in it. It's not really balanced out. So the way I deal with this raw recording is first up, I press Ctrl A to select the entire audio. And then I go to effects and use the normalize. I've got it set to 70%. If it's set to dB, just switch to percentage, make it 70, that should be good for most cases. Once that is done, I like to use a hard limit. It's under amplitude and compression yet again. And here I pick the default minus 6 dB. I apply it. Keep in mind the entire audio file is still selected. And then I do that once more, so I normalize it. 70% and use the hard limit with minus 6 dB. Now I go to filter and EQ and use the parametric equalizer. I use the voice enhancer preset and apply it. Now I go once again to filter and EQ. And this time I'm going to use the scientific filter. Here I use another preset even though it says custom here. I use the his cut and this should give you that curve. So if yours looks, let me pick a different one. I believe your curve looks like this by default. Just go to his cut where it cuts it off at the end a little bit. You've got a straight line and then it falls off flat and it's going to reduce a little bit of these his sounds. Then we have a problem here. These little spikes, these very, very thin lines. These are usually clicks. They happen because of your saliva I believe. So whenever you move your lips it's just going to happen naturally. You want to use a declicker for that. I can find mine right here. If you can't find yours, you have a different layout, just go to effects, diagnostics and there you should see it, declicker process. It's the same. Just click on scan. It's going to scan the entire file and it's going to give you a report on where all of these spikes are. I use heavy reduction for preset. So below the click and a drop down, I have heavy reduction selected and then I click on repair all and it's going to get rid of most of these. And especially when people use headphones, this is going to make your audio way better. Then we have a problem right here. There are still wavy lines, even though I'm not talking and there's background noise. To deal with it, we go to effects, noise reduction, restoration, noise reduction process and then you want to capture a noise print. To do that you select with the left click drag in the original audio this area that's supposed to be silent and then you click on capture noise print. It's going to give you a profile of this selection. You can see that when it's too small it's going to give you a warning message so it has to have a certain size. Once that is done click on select entire file and we have 95% for noise reduction and reduced by 100 dB. This should be good in most cases. Click on apply and this gets rid of the background noise. You can see that here at the start, it's completely flat now. We filtered out the background noise. You may have to do that two or three times depending on the stuff that you've got. I use shift control P, which is the short key for it. Capture this noise print, select all and then apply it. Finally, all of the stuff that we did, it made the audio a little bit too high. So we are above minus 6 dB again. Therefore, I like to apply a hard limit yet again in the end. Once again, preset minus 6 dB and then everything is leveled out. Let me play this here. This is a test audio to show how we can improve the audio quality in Adobe Audition. If you don't use these options, you're going to have a hard time 
to get good audio quality even out of the most expensive and best microphones. Fast improvements. One more thing to add though are these little areas. This is usually breathing. So you may want to select that and use silence and the effects to get rid of that. This is just a manual adjustment. If you want to have perfect results, you have to go over your audio entirely like this and apply it everywhere where there's breathing. But this is in general the way I improve my audio. Try it out yourself and it's going to give you a much better result than just this raw recording. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.